Hey quilters, it's Anjali from Doodle Quilting Studio. And today I was, uh, I spent most of the day quilting actually, which is awesome because it's summer break and I'm home with my three kids. And so I haven't really been able to dedicate like big chunks of time to quilting. So today I got to, and it was super fun. I was loving it. I was listening to my audiobook. Um, I'm working on this amazing um, Sue Spargo quilts um, called Earth and Twig. Um, doing some custom quilting on it. Um, I love quilting wool. That's a different video. We'll talk about that in another one. But um, having such a good time quilting this quilt and just um, thinking that every time I use my machine, I learn something and I've done it. Okay, so the point of this video <laughs> is not for me to ramble, but the point of this video is just, I wanted to share some things about this machine, about this setup. I have a Q24 on a 13 foot frame with Qmatic, but most of what I love about this machine is what I do with it um, with free motion. So I wanted to take this chance to kind of share some things with you and um, tell you guys exactly what it is about this machine that I love um, and what makes it for me um, so easy to machine quilt with it, um, so easy to um, quilt fast. I, I like to quilt really fast. And so um, just a few things that I like about this machine that really allow me, I feel like, um, to grow as a quilter, to, um, you know, keep up my skills and things like that. So I'm going to turn the camera around and we'll um, look at some things on the machine. Um, and I'll kind of walk you through um, the things I like. And actually, you know what, before I turn the camera around, um, you can kind of see. So this is my machine. Um, her name is Helga. And um, this light that you see here is not actually a standard Bernina accessory. It's um, the Daylight Quilta Light. Um, and so it's just attached. Um, you can kind of see here, I have it attached to my handles and then the cord actually goes along the backside of the machine and plugs in um, to, a, to the wall outlet. Um, so that's just, that's something I added on for extra light. Um, the machine does have great light um, to it. Um, but this is just an extra, um, a little extra. And you can't have too much light when you're quilting. Um, and living in Alaska, you know, when it's midwinter and I'm down here quilting, you know, even at four o'clock in the afternoon, it's pitch black dark outside. Um, and so even with my lights, it never hurts to have extra. So, um, so that's what this guy is kind of sitting, um, across this, um, the handlebars here. Um, okay. But one of my favorite things about my machine. So I am about five two, so I'm pretty short. <laughs> my 11 year old daughter is now taller than me. So um, one of my favorite things about this machine because I am vertically challenged is you can see my thread up here. So all of my threading on this machine is done from the front. So I can reach this. So even with my light here, right? I can reach to thread, oh, let me turn that. So this is my needle thread and then over here is my bobbin thread. So I can reach to thread this. I don't have to go behind the machine. Um, I don't have to do anything crazy. Um, I can reach to thread this machine. And I love that. Um, the other thing of course, too, is, um, I can reach to wind the bobbin. So I have a bobbin winder right on the machine here, uh, which is really nice. Um, but again, threading from the front, one of my favorite things. So, um, I'm going to flip the camera around and then, um, I'll show you a few of my other favorite things here. Okay. So I have this flipped around and you can see this is my, um, this is my main screen on my Q24 here. Um, and this probably is my all time favorite thing about the machine. So, um, even if my threading was from the back, I'd probably suffer through it for this, but my threading of course is right there. Like, look, I can reach it. So all time favorite thing about this machine, see this number up here. That is my tension. So notice how, well, she's so pretty too, but see how nice and sleek and clean and you don't see any tension dials. That's because my tension is digital. So I have tension up here. If I wanna change my tension, I just touch that. And then from here, I can adjust my tension up or down with a few clicks. And the reason that is so, vital to me um and i'm going to turn the camera around to kind of talk you guys through this 
Okay, so the reason that digital tension is so vital to me is because I use so many different threads. And if you've seen, I think I did a studio tour or something, um, and you can see all my threads. So I've got, I've got thread everywhere. Okay, so I use um, all sorts. So I have So Fine, which is a 50 weight, so 50 weight cotton, 40 weight poly, um, coated threads, non-coated threads, metallic threads, um, uh, even monofilament thread. So I use a lot of different threads and to be able to adjust tension digitally is huge because I can adjust it as I'm quilting. So I don't have to like, remember, did I turn the dial three clicks to the right or did I turn it to the left or what? I can actually just go right in there, change it, get immediate results. No, yeah, that worked or no, that didn't work or oh, I need to adjust it the other way. It takes me no time at all. Um, and then I think I did another video, but this machine also has the ability to um, save things. So let's see if I can get in here. So I actually have it set up here and you can kind of see, it doesn't, you can't see my exact setting and my exact threads there, but um, I can save settings for different threads. So I have my machine set up with, um, Aurafil and So Fine, Omni, uh, what else do I have? Isocord, King Tut. Um, I don't use a lot of King Tut anymore, but I have those settings. I've determined for those threads what I need the tension set at. And that's really what I use that for is to set those tension settings. So when I'm going back and forth for threads, so like, I, you know, I'm working on this, this amazing Sue Spargo quilt. Well, I'm going back and forth between Omni, which is a 40 weight poly and so fine, which is a 50 weight cotton. And so the beauty of it is that when I go to the next area and I want to switch that thread, all I have to do is just click my setting on my machine and I'm set and I just go and I just stitch and I know it's going to be perfect tension. So that's my all time favorite feature of this machine. Um, let's see what else I'm going to flip this around so you can see the machine. Okay. So one of the next things I really like about this machine, I'm going to try and adjust my light here so that it's not in your guys' way, but you can see here Q24 Bernina. So this right here opens up and this, excuse my machine, it's sturdy because I was quilting and I haven't cleaned it out yet. Um, but you can see I have access to my entire thread path, right? So I start threading up here and I come down and I have access to my entire thread path all the way to my needle. Um, and that's huge, right? So if for some reason I get something jammed or whatnot, I can get to everything here. Um, so I really like that ability and then I can just close it here. Now, the other cool thing about this machine, and you can kind of see it here, but this machine takes domestic machine needles, which means I can use, I can match my needle to my thread, to my fabric, to all sorts of different things. Okay, so matching my needle to my fabric, to my thread, I think is huge. It's just, if I am doing a denim quilt, I can put a denim needle in it. Um, if I'm doing a t-shirt quilt, I can put a jersey or a stretch needle in it. Um, and actually the needle I have in my machine right now is a 9014 stretch needle. Um, and I found that using stretch quilting, I use a bunch of different needles and I've done a video on needles, but um, especially when I'm switching back and forth between threads, being able to put a needle like that in, it's kind of like, um, like a, you know, I can use one needle to jump back and forth and I have a big enough tolerance on the needle that I don't have to mess with things extra to make them work. And I don't have to change my needle every time I want to change a different thread or do something like that. So, um, that is another huge plus for me to be able to use machine, regular sewing machine needles um, that I could, I don't have to get them special. I don't have to do anything extra with them. I can buy them at my local quilt shop. Um, and so that I think is another really cool thing about this machine. I love this machine. So um, if you <laughs> if you happen to be looking, um, of course I live and breathe with my machine. Um, we're buddies, we've, we've worked out an agreement. Um, I did just do a post on troubleshooting um, and I even have a little plaque in my studio that says my long arm is my friend and my enemy. Um, and if you've done any long arming, 
um, have a machine, you know that that's true. Um, and we, her and I, we had a little bit of a, a rocky start, but uh, we've come to an agreement and um, I absolutely love quilting on my Q24. Um, it's just, it's fun every time. I learn something every time. Um, so anyway, just wanted to take a moment to share with you um, why I love my baby so much. And um, hopefully um, if you have a machine, you're quilting tonight. And if you're just, you know, if you're looking for a machine or drooling over a machine, um, the, you should take one home soon. Um, and if you have questions about the Bernina um, Q24, there's a couple other models. You can put a Q20 on a frame. Um, and then Bernina has a couple other um, like tabletop models, like a mid-arm machine. Um, but they're all kind of, they all are based off of this same, um, the same head here. Um, so if you have questions, let me know, feel free to leave me a comment, send me an email. Um, I'd be happy to answer any questions, but, um, just want to take a few minutes to share with you, uh, the special bond I share with my Bernina Q24. So we'll talk to you guys next time. Happy quilting.